Okay, it's quite clear on this will be a video chart on IDGI, Inca Designs Incorporated. I've uh, done this one a few times already, and uh, after today's action, it deserves a chart update uh, due to the nice breakout it had. Uh, so I don't think the video will be too long or uh, dramatic, but uh, like I said, it does deserve an update, so that's what we're going to uh, do. The last time I did this video, uh, I was talking about how um, this point 0.012 region uh, was very important, and actually uh, these two lines should have been red because they were resistances. And I made note how if uh, you could get above 0.012, you know, you had a good chance of hopefully uh, testing this high up here, if not breaking it. And you can see here you had a, finally got above it uh, on increasing volume, which was good. Uh, had a little consolidation day, but the key here was you did close above it, so you were able to maintain uh, this 0.02. So we'll just kind of go through it. At this point, it had turned to uh, support. So the whole key was maintaining this as support, which it did do. And then today, uh, you exploded not only through this resistance, but also this one. And the best part about, or I shouldn't say the best part, but my favorite part about the chart on this sort of move is looking down here at the volume. And this has been the biggest volume it's had for at, for at least a month and a half. Um, so real big volume showed that the bulls were uh, really behind this move, pushing it up. And the other thing to note is, sure, you had bigger volume days, you know, here and here, but then when you correspond that over to the price, uh, today's volume was bigger in the sense of dollar volume wise. There was more, you know, money that was traded back and forth today than what uh, traded on these two days, just based on you can see the prices that where these uh, days were uh, traded at were much cheaper than where it's at now. All these days were sub penny, and this one was all above. Um, all above a penny so you know that the dollars add up much quicker when you're trading above a penny or above a penny rather than you know below it so big volume on the breakout that's just textbook there that's what you want to see and you know that's what occurred so just real quickly updating uh, the chart now all these red levels or that were resistances need to be changed to green because they are support levels now so uh, now as you can see got uh, quite a bit of support levels beneath you that have been formed and the next uh, thing on the agenda would be to figure out where uh, these next resistance levels are going to be at so pulling up the chart and you know kind of shrinking it up let me get this out of the way up here uh, you can see that we have some uh, price history from back here uh, in July and the next resistance well let me take this back we do have a little small one right here at the high because that is where uh, obviously the bears decided to step in today what I'm going to do is make that skinny because I don't really foresee that being too much of a too much of a wall if the bulls push back up there again. Uh, but that level is at 0 0.0175. Uh, but after that, what we pretty much have is, you know, the next key resistance being right up here uh, at this level, right here, and that's kind of estimating a little bit below two cents. The way I'm getting that is, if you look, you can see that there's a bunch of price congestion right here. You had a bunch of highs. Uh, there was a break of it, but you could never close above it. So right here, there's uh, some clear history of the chart, you know, putting up kind of a wall here and pushing the price down. So like I said, for argument's sake, we're just going to call this uh, at two cents. It's going to be really the next key uh, resistance level. So what I'll do there is make this a little thicker because I think it'll be put up more of a fight than what this level where will. Um, but these are your two uh, next two resistance levels. Uh, just a real nice, uh, you know, uptrend here going. You know, last time I did, I talked about this consolidation pattern. It has proven to be very healthy uh, with today's move upwards. So overall, charts looking good. Um, you know, sh short term, you know, you can't complain at all. Just a nice channel. Uh, depending on what your, uh, you know, time frame is, even in the long term, it's it's technically still an uptrend. If you were to take a you know, just real quick, I'll do it. You could do this and then draw a line up like this. And technically, this still is an uptrend. Uh, but I'm, I have a feeling most people aren't using that sort of long chart like that. Probably more so a chart kind of like this to get an idea. Um, but after two cents, you know, you're basically in blue sky territory. Uh, as can be seen, if you look back, there's really no history. Uh, there is some history back here, but, you know, I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves right now. We'll just concentrate on uh, making sure that, uh, these support levels hold up it strong and hopefully uh, eventually get up, be able to put some closes in above those levels too. So if you do have any other questions on the chart, uh, please shoot me a message. I'd also encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. 
If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll get a free ebook which has been getting good reviews and with your subscription, you'll get trade ideas, chart setups, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety, something for everybody, and best part is it's all free, no strings attached, so it's definitely worth at least checking out. One more time, this was IDGI. Thanks for listening.